All right. Um, we are going to teach you how to use the POS machine. This is the same machine that does printing of recharge card as well as B payment. Um, you can use it for B payment such as DSTV, Go TV, Star Times, Nepal Bill, and the rest of them. Um, to use the machine, power it off from the power button here. Once it's up, you open here. You put your paper. This is um, carbonated paper. It doesn't require ink. That is to say, ink is embedded originally inside the paper. Um, you ensure you face the paper this way and not this other way. If you face it this other way, when you print, it will print at the back and there won't be anything on the paper. It won't show anything. So you put it this way, ensuring that the head is coming out from this other angle. All right? And then you close it here. That's step one. Now you want to print the charge card, you press the F1 button. As you can see on the F1 button, you have the main menu is displayed here. Or maybe I should take the nylon so that we can see the screen very well. All right. Now we have the main menu. You scroll down. Scroll down to number 9. Sorry, number 10, which is agent admin. On number 10, which is agent admin, you press OK. It will request your agent password, which by default is 5 into 4. You OK it. It's open. You see number one, set SIM O network. Number two, set SIM one network. Number three is buy top of voucher. You press number three. It shows you available network at time you can buy. As you can see, we have Glow, MTN Glow, Airtel, Etisalat, and Visa phone. Now we want to buy 100 Naira MTN. We want to buy MTN card. You press one, which is MTN. It shows you available denomination to buy. 100 Naira, 200 or 400. Let's choose 400. You OK it. You put quantity. How many of 400 MTN would you want to buy? Let's say I want to buy 10 units. I put 10 and I OK it. The next thing is for me to swipe my MasterCard, the card that came with the POS. All right? When you swipe, ensure that the black line here is facing down. All right? So you can see the black line. So you swipe this way. Oh, this particular card is bad. Normally, once you swipe, it will request you to put the pin of the card. You put the pin, and once you put the pin, it prints out the receipt for you. Now, don't make, don't uh, get it twisted. The first receipt printed is actually not the ATM, not, not the recharge card pin number. It's a receipt showing that. It's a receipt showing that you have made a payment, you have purchased a time of X amount of Naira, all right? Now, you exit that option after purchasing and printing out a payment receipt. The next thing you need to do is to return back to your main menu, which is F1. Now, you see offline a time, which is menu 1. Press on it. Put your password again, 5555. You okay it. Now, it shows all the networks. Which one would you want to print? You are printing MTN because that was the only one you bought earlier. Press MTN. It shows you the denomination available. You have to print 400, which was what you printed, what you purchased initially. You go to 400, you select. Quantity. Remember, we purchased 10, but we don't want to print all the 10 because the customer wants to buy only one. So we put one, and then we OK it. Then the card pin is printed out here blah, 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 with here and give the customer just the pin yes no just the logo, pin. Nothing, no it will have your business name it will show your business name your own business name and address all right as configured on the on this device now you give the customer after printing the machine asks you if you want to retain the printer card i want to want it off the machine you press no because i printed it out already if you retain it it means you can always reprint the same card but it can no longer work on the second person's phone, all right? You only retain, if there's a problem, maybe the card didn't print clearly. You can retain it to reprint it at a later time when everything is fine. Now, um, see what you are looking at. Look at the screen very well. There's a sign here. There's a phone sign, uh, there's a cross sign. That cross sign means that the phone, 
the device is not connected to the network. That's why I give it, having a cross sign because there's no SIM card in a particular phone for demonstration purposes. Normally, they're supposed to put an MTN SIM card with data, even if you miss one megabyte. Once that happens, you will see a zigzag sign here instead of this cross sign. And once you see a zigzag sign, it means everything is fine and you are good to go. But so that's how to use it for recharge card printing. Now, the yeah, machine also does B payment, yes. You put a, a, a pin, first you open here, you can start a SIM card. I'll show us for close the video. Um, to buy, to pay other bills like GSTV, GoTV, Star Times, and PACN, all you need to do is to actually go back to the menu, F1. You can see um, B payment. Under B payment, you okay it. You see PACN, you see DSTV, you can see Go TV, you can see Star Times, you can see Water Bill, you can see LCC, which is for Lucky Concessioning Company for those in Lagos who are using the Lucky Toll Gate. And then you can see Swift Internet, you can see Smile, you can see others, and the rest of them. Now let's assume you want to pay for um you want to pay for Go TV. You click OK on Go TV. You are asked to enter your service ID. In this case, your service ID is your smart card number for Go TV. In the case of Nepal B, service ID is your Nepal or your meter number. And in the case of um, um, uh, Smile or Spectranet or the other ones, service ID requires your username with the service provider. Once you enter it and you press OK, put the amount. Maybe I'm paying GSTV, Go TV, sorry, for 2000 it shows the amount, I press OK. It requires me to swipe my MasterCard. And once I swipe, I put my PIN, my card is debited, and I'm good to go. The receipt is printed out. Now, um, let's show you how the back looks like. Look at the back. For you to put a SIM card, you remove this, right? As you can see. Um, remember, it must be an MTN SIM card. We have three slot one two three, but you put the you put the same on the slot one. You press it forward. You open here. You put your same in this order. You close it and you lock it. It's hard to put your same. Once it's done, you buy your battery and then power up your machine. That's all. Are there other questions you have? You can call our phone numbers or you can visit our 